morning, sir. Welcome. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Good morning sir. Thank you, sir. Are you comfortable? Yes, sir. Uh, tell us something about your background. Uh, sir, my name is Saurabh Satya. I have uh, done my schooling from Patna. Uh, post that, I have uh, done uh, my graduation in Electronics and Communication Engineering mm -hmm. from NIT Patna. Mm -hmm. Post that, uh, I have worked for one year in a fintech company, Intellect Design Arena Limited. And after that, I have been pursuing my civil services mm -hmm. with geography as my optional. And my hobby is uh, watching football, especially Spanish football. Mm -hmm. And you have got some extracurricular activities also? Uh, yes, sir. You are founder? Uh, sir, in NIT Patna, I was founder of one of the education societies there. Mm. It, it was called Sankalp mm. Ghar Ghar Shikshaka. Mm. And I was also the uh, general management coordinator mm -hmm. for uh, the Tech Fest um, Corona. Okay, very good. Right. You watch uh, Spanish football? Yes, sir. Mm. Supposing I am a football lover and I'm watching a football, but I don't know whether it is Spanish football or it's uh, another Latin American, some other uh, football. How will I know watching a football match that I'm watching a Spanish football? Mm, yes, sir. Sir, uh, Spanish football, one of the basic criteria is they play possession based football. Mm. Uh, so uh, there is less amount of physicality and there is more focus on technical skills. Mm. And second, sir, uh, Spanish football, there is a greater focus on developing youth players. So a lot of academy players uh, are found playing in La Liga compared to other English Premier League or uh, Ger German leagues. You know, this is, you are saying that more, uh, you know, more and more youths are uh, promoted in Spanish football. That is not Spanish football. That is, that is a strategy that they follow. They, they want to uh, bring in more youth in their uh, football. That is all right. But how a Spanish football is different than other kinds of football? Because you watch it and you are an expert in this field. That's why I'm asking you this question. You have said that position football uh, they have. But this kind of position football is uh, there in other uh, areas as well. Uh, sir, the, uh, the first characteristic of Spanish football is possession-based football. Other leagues, they also... Pos what do you mean by possession-based football? Sir, uh, possession-based football is... Uh, uh, the basic philosophy of possession-based football is the more position you keep, mm -hmm. the greater the chances you have of attack mm -hmm. and the less chances you will face from opponents. Uh, they won't be able to attack your goal if they have lesser possession. So you mean to say indirectly that they have got a negative... Uh, uh, approach they're uh, not that way attacking uh, no sir uh, sir uh, uh, in forward play mm -hmm. uh, they focus a lot on uh, possession because mm -hmm. uh, uh, that reduces the probability of opponent's team mm -hmm. scoring a goal mm -hmm. yes this is one that of that's what i'm saying but you are more defensive than your spanish football is more defense defensive than so in terms of they don't rely uh, heavily on their defenders mm. it's a more a uh, midfielder style a uh, midfield style of position of football mm -hmm. that is why sir, spain has produced some of the greatest midfielders in last uh, 10 years tell me uh, what other uh, f forms are there uh, one is position football so there must be some other uh, forms of footballing uh, you know strategies yes sir tell me sir in english premier league if we follow they play a more physical style of football mm -hmm. wherein uh, there is a lot of focus on tackles physicality the strikers there are quite big in size uh, so they put in a lot of crosses <coughs> uh, there is heavy focus on headers mm -hmm. uh, so these types of goals okay this is uh, the difference you are saying yes sir. okay uh, recently some changes have been uh, you know taken place in uh, footballing rules and regulations can you tell me fifa rules yes sir so one of the changes uh, post covid has been that number of substitutions that was allowed earlier was 3 now it has been changed to 5 mm -hmm. uh, other thing is that uh, if a player after scoring a goal he takes out his third he will get a yellow card mm -hmm. plus uh, some extra time will be added uh, that is generally added for time wasting mm -hmm. 
okay and uh, uh, some changes have also taken place uh, with regard to the offside uh, rule uh, sir uh, i am not aware. when a player will be called offside yes sir a, a player is called offside if uh, uh, the most forward attacking player mm -hmm. of the opponent team mm -hmm. uh, he is in the opponent's half mm -hmm. and his distance uh, uh, based on the body parts from which he can uh, score a goal is closer to the goal line uh, the opponent's goal line than uh, the second last defender or the goal uh, or the goal line but it is not connected with releasing the ball of your own player so it is connected with uh, releasing if, the if 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 your own player does not release the ball and you are in an offside position will be will uh, will you be an offside uh, then or when the ball is released by your team player and before that you go to the offside position sir a player can be in an offside position but he will not be called offside until and unless he intervenes with the uh, play so uh, so if a if a player does not release the ball uh, to the to the striker who is in the forward most position and if that striker is uh, be, is ahead of the last defensive line then he will be called offside otherwise if he is behind the last defensive line then he will not be called offside sir and he can be in offside position there but if he does not interfere with the play and some other players runs in and takes that ball then then also he will not be uh, deemed offside sir okay uh, i'll give you a situation he'll tell me what he'll do right supposing you are posted in a division office and uh, your headquarter is situated somewhere else and you have got a circular from your headquarter that at this time the bonus should be distributed uh, to the accounts of the uh, you know staffs who are working there in your division all the staffs will get their bonus uh, in their account directly no cash payment will be uh, entertained this time now the indian people come to you and they start protesting they say that no many of our staffs do not have their bank accounts and uh, that's why we cannot um, you know uh, obey your uh, you know this particular circular we need payments in cash you know that if cash payments are made then there'll be uh, some issues because you have got this uh, circular from the headquarter you cannot uh, make any cash payment you also know that if cash payments are given then the cashier if those people who do not come uh, to the office on that particular very day to collect their uh, bonus amount that amount they will give to somebody else outside the office on interest basis so there will be a corruption uh, you know possibility involved there but union people uh, they are raising a lot of protest and they are saying that will go for a strike let's say you are in the department of uh, railway so they say that we will have a nationwide uh, strike if you carry out this order and you know that if uh, railway uh, you know strikes takes place then that will be a national and inter international news what will you do yes sir uh, uh, since there is a direct order from above that cash payments will not be allowed and we have to deposit the amount directly in bank account this order has to be followed so for this so first i will convene a meeting with the people who are protesting i will uh, try to gauge that what is the issues that they are having for example sir if they are having issue with that they do not have a bank account then i will simultaneously arrange a uh, uh, a session with uh, a local bank wherein on fast basis their bank accounts can be opened and uh, plus i will also tell them what are the benefits if the cash is deposited directly in their bank accounts sir okay thank you are what is the difference between a semiconductor and a superconductor 
Yes, sir. So, semiconductor are devices whose conductivity lies between uh, a insulator and uh, <coughs> and a conductor. So, they have medium conductivity, and a superconductor is basically a conductor that has almost zero resistance, and this is uh, usually observed at uh, very low temperatures. Mm. What do you mean by very low temperatures? So it is around uh, minus 250 degrees cel uh, Celsius, if I am recalling it correct, sir. And it is known as Curie temperature, sir. That is minus 250. Yes, sir. That is the range for the superconductivity related study. Uh, yes, sir. In this range, the conductor becomes a superconductor. Okay. And uh, what is the National Semiconductor Mission of India? Uh, yes, sir. this is a program that has been initiated by the government of India uh, for uh, fabrication of semiconductor, semiconductors, for fabrication of display units, for uh, uh, assembly, testing and manufacturing and for design and for design link scheme. Sir. What are wafers like silicon wafers? So silicon wafers, sir, they are the base on which a semiconductor device is made, sir. So they are basically the base. Uh, has there been any agreement with foreign companies to set up uh, their units in India? Or is there any sort of progress <coughs> undergoing right now? Uh, yes, sir. Under the Semicon India mission, uh, there, uh, a company by the name of Micron will set up its facility in Gujarat, sir. Okay. Any other proposal? Any issue related with Foxconn? Uh, so Foxconn, uh, there were some labor issues that was going on. Uh, there were some labor protests, but uh, on the technical side, sir, I am not very much aware of it. Okay. What is the difference between a national park and a biosphere reserve? Yes, sir. Uh, uh, So a national park is mainly for the conservation of uh, species and it is protected by legislation. Uh, there are certain legislations in India by which uh, they are declared national parks. Whereas in biosphere reserve, the focus along with animal protection is also on the well-being of human humans. And there is an international biosphere committee that declares them biosphere reserves. And when this concept of biosphere reserve started and by so, whom? Uh, so it was by UN, I cannot, uh, I do not remember the exact uh, time, but it was around 1972, <coughs> if I recall correctly. Okay. There was a program under which uh, the whole concept of Biosphere Reserve is undertaken. What is the name of that program of UNESCO? Uh, UN Man Biosphere Reserve Program. Man so. and Biosphere. Uh, okay. When did India send its first Antarctic mission? And what was the name of that observatory? Sorry, sir, I don't have any idea about this. Some Arctic mission have also been sent by India? Uh, yes, sir. What is the name of that mission? Okay. Sir, I am oh. not aware. Sir. Sorry, sir. Okay. <coughs> Which rare animal is found in Nanda Devi? Biosphere Reserve. So blue sheep is one of the uh, varieties that is found there. Uh, so leopards are found there. Which type of leopard? So snow leopards. Name two except Nanda Devi. Name two biosphere situated in Himalayan range and two biosphere situated in Indian Ocean. Uh, so, uh, uh, so near the Indian Ocean, uh, uh, one of the uh, biosphere reserves is. Uh, so I am unable to recall right now. In in, in Himalaya. Except on that day.
So I know of national parks, but I can't recall wildlife sanctuary. Sorry, sir. Who is Oliver Khan? Uh, Oliver Khan, sir. Oliver Khan. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, he was one of the greatest uh, German goalkeepers, uh, if I am able to recall correctly, sir. Has he won any World Cup? Sir, I am not aware of this. Sorry, sir. From which football club Pele used to play in his country? Sir, I think it was a Santos FC. Who is Ronaldinho? Ronaldinho. Sir, Ronaldinho is uh, uh, one of the great footballers who used to play in the 2000s and one of the clubs that he has represented is uh, From which FC, country he belongs FC. to? Pardon, sir? To, from which country he belongs to? Sir, he belongs to Brazil, sir. Name two football coach or manager from any country. Yes, sir. So one of them is uh, Pep Guardiola. He he is uh, the manager of Manchester City, who, which plays in England. Uh, second is uh, Xavi. He is the manager of football club Barcelona that plays in Spain, sir. What is Mr. Suraksha of Bihar, Bihar government? Your post preference is DSP. Yes, sir. Suppose you are posted as DSP in this subdivision. Yes, sir. How you will work in that division, uh, that district, not that subdivision, following the mission suraksha of Bihar government? Sir, right now I don't remember the mission suraksha. Sorry, sir. What is Javik corridor of Bihar government? Uh, sir, Javik Corridor scheme is a scheme of Bihar government to promote organic farming along the uh, 12 districts of uh, near the Ganga River, sir. Under this, uh, rupees 11,500. What, what are those districts? Uh, sir, they are Patna, Samastipur, Bhagalpur, Mungir, Lakhisrai, Begusrai, Kathiar. Baksar, so these are the districts that I can recall right now. What will be other benefit except the Javik production? Yes, sir. So one of the uh, big uh, advantages of uh, cultivation of or, uh, or organic agriculture will be on environment as uh, with respect to uh, if we add chemical fertilizers, it makes the soil very friable, as a result of which they are highly susceptible to wind erosion, sir. And uh, there, uh, another advantage will be, sir, the agricultural runoff into rivers would be low. Uh, that is why the rivers so, won't be What is the connection between this uh, fertilizer and wind erosion? Sir, uh, greater application of fertilizers makes the, uh, makes the soil friable and powdery as a result of which uh, winds can blow them away. So this results in topsoil getting washed away, sir. What is Harit Jivika and Harit Bihar? Yes, sir. So Harit Jivika, Harit Bihar is uh, one of the sub-schemes uh, that runs under the Jivika program. Under this uh, 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 tree plantations by Jivikas is to be undertaken, sir. Then what is the mission 5.0? So under Mission 5.0, if I recall correctly, sir, it was uh, five crore trees were to be planted uh, under Jal Jeevan Hariyali Mission, sir. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Sort of. आपका तो चौदह तारीख है. Yes, sir. है ना ठीक है. दो तीन दिन है अभी आपके पास. Overall performance अच्छा है आपका. Hand placement, I think, ये रहेगा तो अच्छा है. Yes. है ना कि इससे क्या हो रहा है कि एक क्लोज एंडेड बॉडी और इंट्रोडक्शन में आप अपना नाम मेंशन मत करना क्योंकि यहाँ पे हम लोग मेंशन नहीं करते हैं ओवरऑल परफॉर्मेंस अच्छा है इट्स वेरी गुड कम्युनिकेशन अच्छा है आपने यू में भी दिया है यस सर अच्छा इंटरव्यू दिया आपने नो सर मेंस यस सर अच्छा तो मेन्स में वो नहीं मिला नो सर किस सब्जेक्ट में कम रहा है सर मेरा जी एस में कम रहा है सर और जी में सर जी में इस बार आपने दिया क्या नहीं 
नहीं सर इस बार मेरा सी सेट क्वालिफाई नहीं हो पाया क्वालिफाई नहीं कोई बात नहीं ठीक है परफॉर्मेंस अच्छा है लेकिन वो मैं आपसे टिकटा का सुनना चाह रहा था स्पेनिश फुटबॉल का यस सर सर पोजीशन बेस्ड फुटबॉल का ही दूसरा ठीक है वो ठीक है सेवेंटी परसेंट के आसपास पोजीशन रखते हैं वो लोग ओवरऑल बहुत बढ़िया परफॉर्मेंस आपका थैंक यू सर थैंक यू थैंक यू सर थैंक यू